we're going to continue right where we left off in the last video. And we created this disabled button. And as you can see here, we can't click on it. Now, there's also another icon that you get with this, and it's usually one of those no symbols. And we didn't get that for this. And somebody sent me an email about that. And the reason is, for some reason, and this might be a bug within Bootstrap itself, but the large button does not get that symbol. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And we'll just move right below this line here. And let's go ahead and just get rid of the LG here. So this will just be a medium sized button. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. Now we get that do not symbol. So that's really sort of interesting. And perhaps it's a bug in Bootstrap, I'm not sure. In any event, let's move on. And the point of this lecture is to show you how to group buttons up so that you get sort of a menu look. You can group them all together. And to do that, you always want to put those inside of a div. So that's what we're going to start out with. And what this will do is sort of connect all of the buttons into one sort of single unit. And you'll see how it looks when we're done with it. And so again, you want to wrap these into a container element or a container div. And then we will go ahead and put in our buttons and we will use a bootstrap class to create that button group. And you'll see that in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our div. And then we're gonna go ahead and call our class, our bootstrap class. So of course we have to use the class attribute. And the class we're gonna call is btn group. So we just go ahead and put that right here. So this is always the class that you will call to create a button group in Bootstrap. It's that simple. The next attribute we need is a role. And for a button group, you're always just gonna set this to a group. There is actually another role that you can set this to, and that is toolbar. And we'll talk about that in a future video. But just remember, if you're gonna create a button group, you just set the role to group. It's pretty simple. And so let's go ahead and close this div out. Now, I have found that it's easier to use the button element rather than the input element for these button groups. So we're gonna go ahead and use the button element. Now remember, I told you in the last lecture that we can use bootstrap buttons against the input element, the button element, and the anchor element. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the button element. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our first button. And then of course, as you recall from the last lecture, we need a class and let's go ahead and we'll just pick one from up here. Let's take the button primary class. So let's go ahead and take that. So we'll just copy and paste that right down here. And then let's go ahead and give this a name. And we're just gonna call this button one. And let's go ahead and add a few more buttons to our button group. So we'll just copy and paste this. And we'll just go down here. And let's set this second one to info. How about that? That'll be our second button. And then we'll call this one button two. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and add a third button to our button group. And we'll just go ahead and use the success button. Let's go ahead and use that. So we'll type that right in here. Good. And this will be button three. Okay. And now we just need, of course, to close our div out. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this all up and let's refresh our page. And take a look at that. There is our button group. Now, we don't have the margin here because I didn't create a CSS rule for that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just line everything up nicely here. I'm kind of a perfectionist. So let's go down here and we'll just go ahead and add some CSS here. And we're going to work against, of course, our div. And we're just going to give that the same margin. So there we go. Let's save that. Let's go back here and refresh our page and great, everything looks great. So you can see this button group and see how nice this looks. It looks pretty nice. Everything's aligned very nicely. You'll notice here that they round off the button on the left and the button on the right, but the center one is not. So this is very nicely done. Now this isn't the only thing you can do with button groups. There are some other things you can do as well. So let's go ahead and let's copy and paste all of this code. And let's just go down here and we'll paste it back. So what you can do here is let's say we wanted all of these buttons large, large buttons. Instead of going into each one of these elements and doing that, you can actually do it from up here. You only have to specify it one time and then it will be applied to all of our different buttons. So let's say again, we wanted to make all of these buttons large. You can do that with the button group class. So again, you just re-specify the class and then you just put a hyphen LG right here. And this should make all of the buttons large. So let's go ahead and save this 
Let's refresh our page and see if this works. And it did. Take a look at this. Now you have three large buttons. And again, you only had to add this little bit of code right here. We didn't have to go down and add that to all of these buttons. So it's always good to try and take shortcuts when you can to cut down on the amount of code that you are writing. Now you'll notice the default is horizontal. But what if you wanted this button group to be vertical? So let's go ahead and we're going to take this first group here again. And we're going to copy and paste this right down here. And all we're going to do is add vertical to the end of our button hyphen group class. And this should make all the buttons appear vertical. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, now these are vertical. So these button group classes are very powerful in Bootstrap. And buttons are used in almost every type of website that has some sort of form submission. So these are very important classes to use inside Bootstrap. We will continue on in the next video. Thank you.